I'm back from Mommy Daughter Science Time, and today we're going to be learning all about the amazing factors and properties of a magnet. And so if you wanted to learn about a magnet and you're watching this video, you're in luck, because this video is going to be all about magnets. But before we get to all the good stuff, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we launch a new video. I need, I need all the subscribers I can get to reach 1,000 subscribers. So, if you want to be a part of that group, then I'm going to thank you for all your help. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Let's start. First, what is a magnet? A magnet is a piece of iron that attracts other, that attracts three types of metal. Cobalt, iron, and nickel. It doesn't attract any other type of metal, like aluminum or zinc or any other metal. It doesn't attract those metals. It only attracts the three metals. Cobalt, iron, and nickel. Now remember that, okay? So now, what are pull? What are the mag? What are pulls on a magnet? A ma every magnet has two poles: a north pole and a south pole. Think about a compass. You know that line on a compass, that big one. The top of it points north. And then the bottom of it points south. You put a magnet here, a compass. The top of the compass pole, the little line stick thing on the compass, will point to the north pole on the, on the magnet. And then this, the south side of the stick thing on the compass will point to the south pole. That's why you should keep magnets and compasses away from each other. Or else it will mess up the direction. And you'll be going the wrong way. So now, what we're going to do is play with this fun magnetic putty and see how it, it and the container attracts the magnet. Let's open it. It doesn't open sometimes. Sorry. So, got it. Sometimes it's very hard to open this. Sometimes the putty sticks to the lid inside and it just gets stuck. So let's get this putty out. Isn't that cool? Isn't it cool that slime and putty can have magnetic features inside them and then a magnet can stick to it? Here, watch this. Try to twist this and make it light, line and string, okay? Now watch this. Come closer. Here. It's coming. Do you see that? I can make it move. It sticks without any tape or glue. Isn't that cool? This is for the properties of a magnet. It sticks to both the poles. Things that are magnetic and attract magnets don't actually have a pole. They don't have any poles. So they stick to both poles, see? It's cool, right? They pop along the way. Let's see if it attracts the middle. They can feel a tiny bit of attraction, but not much. That goes... Do you know how a magnet attracts stuff? It's with... Around the magnet, see here, where my finger is traveling, there's these things called magnetic fields. Magnetic fields are th things, so when something that's magnetic and attracts a magnet, gets into those magnetic fields, it sticks to the magnet straight away. Like this, see? Now this is in the magnetic fields, and it comes close. I'm trying to get it apart. Look at this. Now that's in the magnetic fields, and it just went up without my using my hand, right? It's so cool. That makes a loud sound. Let's put this back. Now, I'll show you how another magnet can attract another, how one magnet can attract another magnet. 
Look. It attracts. It attracts. If you put it this way, it this way, it doesn't attract. It tries to come apart from each other. See? It's not letting me put it together. I'm trying to put it together. This you could not take apart. See? Did you know that if you break a magnet in half, each, each half will turn into a new magnet with a north pole and a south pole? It's a cool fun fact that you can use to surprise your friends. Cool, right? Just look at this. Can magnets work? Okay. Through solids? Let, let me show you. Let me just get a magnetic item. Let me get a magnetic item. Here we go. Magnetic item. This part is magnetic, by the way. Now, wait, let me get a paper clip instead, okay? I'll get a paper clip. Here we go. Nice, lovely paper clip. Now this will be perfect for our video. We'll put this on top of the paper. See it? Here, I'll put the paper closer to you. Do you see it? Now carefully slide the magnet under the paper. You see how it goes? The magnet's this side of the paper. And you see, I can make the paper clip move. Even though the magnet isn't actually touching the paper clip, because the paper is between it, the, magnet, the magnetic fields can still go through the paper and reach the paper clip. So that's how it gets together. Isn't that cool? Let me get it off. Can magnets work through liquids? Yes, they can. In fact, we can't demonstrate because we don't have a liquid. But look, imagine there's a jar of water right here. The paper clip is at the bottom. The magnet is at the top, and then it goes through. It can actually do that. You can try it at home with that experiment. Just get a jar full of water, put the paper clip at the bottom or any other magnetic item, put this at the top, just close enough. See? Just close enough for it to come like that. So you can, so I can reassure you that it works with water in between. So now what we'll do is, I'll test you. I'll lay out some things here. Okay, I'll just dump the whole tray and then I'll lay out some things. It's a little test. You tell me if they're magnetic or not. Just wait one second. I need to lay these out. This is a whole bunch of items that I got just for you. Just to be aware, some of them are actual magnets that are over here, okay? So be careful. Let's start. We'll start now. We'll look at this. I'll give you a moment to decide. Ten se five seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Are you done? Now I'm going to reveal it. Let's see. It's not magnetic. What do you think this is made of? It's surely made of metal. Those of you who said copper got it right. This is made of copper. Now, you know copper is not magnetic. So just so you know, zinc is not magnetic too. So anything made, of that, made out of zinc will not attract a magnet. So you know that. Let's try this. Do you think this little folded piece of foil is magnetic. Here. Do you see it? Good. Do you think it is magnetic? Yes or no? I'll give you five seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Done!
time's up. Now, let's see. Put this on the table. It's not magnetic. That was even surprising for me. I thought it would be magnetic. Cool. And these things go down in here. You already know the paper clip, so I can just do all of these paper clip ones. Yeah, and you already know it's magnetic. Stick them. Now, let's see this coin, which is a quarter. It's a quarter. Let's see if it's magnetic or not. I'll give you five seconds to decide. When it misses. Okay. You're done deciding, so let's see. It's not magnetic. Okay. Let's put it. Oh, look. This one back. Mm -hmm. Let's try a penny. Now let's do the penny. I'll give you a few seconds to decide. Time's up. Let's do it. You, if you guessed that, if you guess no, you are right. This penny is made of copper, like we did earlier with this copper straw. It is not magnetic. So I'll just take all of the pennies and put them away. I did not realize I got so many pennies. Let's try this, which is a dime. I have two dimes. These are not magnetic. Well, I thought they would be magnetic. The smallest coin is not magnetic. Let's try, oops, another quarter. You already know what that is, not magnetic. Let's try this bucket. It has nothing inside, so you know, nothing to help it. Let's see. I'll give you a few seconds to decide. Time is up. Pause the, pause the video if you need some more time to decide, okay? Now, let's see. It's magnetic all right. Let's do it. Let's try spoon. Seconds to the side. Done. You already saw it. It's magnetic. Now the fork. Silverware comes now. Okay, time's up to the side. Let's do it. That's loud. It is magnetic. Now these. You know what they are. So, yeah, they're magnets. And then this, you already saw, it's a magnet, so we can just put it away. Now let's see this. It's magnetic. Screw, magnetic. Wow, this is one of the things that is magnetic and is not magnetic, because look, this plastic part doesn't attract. But then this metal part, look, it attracts. Cool, huh? Let's see this, it's made out of gold and pearls and diamonds. Surprisingly, that's not magnetic. That's surprising to me, wow. Let's try this, a shark toy. Let me show you a cool feature of this. It's a wind-up toy. Oh, it's supposed to go rolling. Hug. See that? Isn't that cool? It was just rolling a little bit. Now, let's see if you're right. Now, this is one of the tours. Because see, this part is metal. It's magnetic. Now, this part is plastic. And it's not magnetic. That's cool. Let's try this block. I bet you're already having doubts about this one. And, yep, doubts. Now this one, the final one. Let's try it. Wow, surprisingly, I thought it was gonna be a tour, but it's not a tour. Cool. Now that you know what a magnet is and some cool facts about magnets, bye guys.
Make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that way you can get notified when we make new videos and be the very first to watch them.